Hello, thanks for watching my YouTube video. This YouTube video is an update on my original YouTube video that I made some time ago on how to transfer VHS tapes to DVD using a combo recorder. And this is the actual same re combo recorder that I used before to make the uh, original YouTube video. And uh, that video, I, I would recommend you to watch that if you, if, if that's what you're looking for is information on the details of how to use a combo recorder, this particular combo recorder, and transfer VHS tapes to DVD. However, there were a few questions that were asked over a period, long period of time, and they came up several times, and so I thought I'd make an update video that would answer those questions. And w one of the questions I was asked um, more recently than when I first put on my uh, YouTube video was where do you buy the combo recorder? Now I, I will have to say unfortunately you cannot buy a new combo recorder to the best of my knowledge and I have looked and to the best of my knowledge they're not even made anymore. So with this combo recorder you the only way you could actually buy one is to either buy a refurbished or a used one, and and I you know I won't say whether I recommend that or not. You you actually I guess be taking some something of a chance to buy one, but uh, if you did want to transfer your VHS tapes to DVD, uh, a simple way, and this machine has uh, proven out for me uh, over years to be very um, very effective in transferring videotapes to, to DVD. Uh, but the other question I was asked a lot was regarding my original VHS tape, uh, or excuse me, my, my original YouTube video, how to transfer a VHS tape to DVD, is they would have trouble finalizing after they get their recording made. And I recently watched my, this older YouTube video I made with all the detailed instructions, and I had no idea I'd left out one important, important point regarding the transfer. And that was at the very last, before you go into the setup menu, you have to hit the stop button. And I can't, couldn't hardly believe watching this recently that I left out that simple little, very important feature that you have to hit the stop button to allow you to go into the setup menu. And then uh, one of the other things I did want to mention regarding transferring VHS tape to DVD is, uh, and I explained on the original tape that when you take your VHS tape and put it in and let's say it's about halfway it's left at about halfway through but you need to know how much is recorded on here is it 15 minutes an hour two hours or three hours or more so it, if you just start recording if you rewind at the beginning and you start recording and you don't know you may either just record 15 minutes or what if it's a three hour tape and then you have to stop and put in a second DVD to finish recording the three-hour tape when you could have just set this to the three-hour recording speed and recorded that that whole tape all at once so so what I recommend is that you put the tape in and then you fast forward it to the end now you put it in and then fast forward it to to the end and I'm, I'm going to stop it here, but I'm going to give you the verbal instructions. You fast forward it to the end, and then you hit the counter reset button, and it'll go into all zeros. Then you rewind it to the beginning, and the counter will start counting down, which really doesn't make a big difference. It's telling you the time is just in minus. So if you record, uh, and, and it will start counting only when there is video recorded on it. So if, if it's a two-hour tape, which most of them are, there's only 45 minutes recorded on it. it. It'll start rewinding, and the counter won't go off of zero until it reaches tape that's recorded over. And then, let's say if it were a 45-minute tape, it would count down to 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 z zero. Well, excuse me. It would count up to 45 minutes, and then stop, obviously, at the end of it. And then you would know you have 45 minutes of recorded video. And so, at that time, I would recommend you set the reset counter to zero but you're ready to do your transfer there and you know you're going to be transferring something that's 45 minutes long so you'll know now i've got a clock timer that i walk around a little one and it tells me two three a minute or two before it goes off so i can walk in here and stop it and you could actually record another tape 
right after that if it wasn't two hours long, if it was like a 30 minute tape. And you could keep putting tapes in and test them ahead of time to see how long they are and then take a piece of tape and write how long they are on them. And I, I do that a lot um, and I've transferred a lot of tapes for other people and I, I've learned a lot from that. But uh, I have other uh, YouTube video tapes on how to transfer VHS-C formats. That's using the carrier that goes in here with a smaller VHS tape that's a C format and how to use the original camcorders that the recordings were recorded in and how to plug that into this combo recorder to record onto a DVD. And so if it, I have most everything covered, even uh, I show how, in a different process, how to transfer old home movie film, 8mm movie film, to DVD. So I th thank you for watching. I hope you will subscribe to my channel. And uh, I, I, I hope that you'll take a look at my other uh, YouTube videos. Thank you for watching.